All right, g'day YouTube. How the heck are we doing? It is Foul Player back for the fifth and final match of this Pauper League. Austin Darrell here, and we're going to mulligan. Started all the way from the bottom in this league with the uh, with the own two, and we fought our way back. So let's see what we can do here. Looks like we are versing another burn deck, third of the league. Last league, I uh, also versed. Couple of burn decks, um, four four burn decks last league. So out of ten matches, I versed it seven times. I think I lost two of those matches. We'll see what happens here in this one. Uh, now with a Swiss beer from the opponent into rebirth. All right, well this armadillo cloak is going to be very handy if we can survive until then. <clears throat> Uh, I think a forest off the top would make our sequencing the best. Yeah, our sequencing is pretty trash here. Uh, utilize the white mana. Get this one here. Play a land for turn. Utopia Sprawl here for white. All right, I think we semi-recovered this. All right, so next turn we can Armadillo Cloak. It's probably one turn too late, unfortunately. I think the damage we take this turn will like likely be putting the end to us. Um, one mana up currently, attacking for this bunch here. We'll go ahead and take it. No blockers from us. Lightning Bolt to face. All right. It's only one prowess creature, it definitely could have been worse than that. Hey, another Utopia Sprawl, very, very interesting. I don't think we can sequence this in any way. I think we're one mana short from casting both of these effects, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so just one mana short there. All right, so we'll attack for three. Uh, the life gain is going to be important there. Uh, we're likely dead on this attack and just one turn away from that kill on our opponent. Uh, third land from our opponent. Are they just flooded out on lands? Is that what's going on here? Or are we just getting shat on? Uh, yeah, looks like the latter. Oh, down to one. All right, well, uh, you are not going to like this one, opponent. Sorry to say. <laughs> oh. What a comeback this one is. Holy smokes. And play Ledge Walker post combat. And with that, our opponent concedes. All right, it doesn't get much tighter than that. On to sideboarding. Okay, so for those of you that are new here, what we have to worry about in the festivities, wiping out our creatures, uh, occasionally some land destruction, occasionally like a flaring pain or something as well. Reminder too, if you do find this video entertaining or informative, please consider subscribing. So the game plan, bring in Crimson Acolytes, take out Silhana Ledge Walkers. This blocks very well into their creatures, plays very well into flaring pain. Um, as I was saying, uh, Sorry, plays very well into end the festivities. Your opponents can have flaring pain um, to next level your chump blocks with Crimson Acolyte. All right, well, I'm not going to turn down an Armadillo Cloak hand. <laughs> Definitely not. We'll go ahead and keep this one. Chromatic Star from the opponent kicking things off. And we have been given the turn one gift here. Let's go ahead and do the nice wacky float green mana here. So now we've effectively turned that into some pretty damn nice tempo. And we'll bogle, we'll cartouche, we're playing around in the festivities. Um, and we're, we're using our turns effectively tempo wise. Second great furnace for the opponent into reckless impulse. Just uh, one more artifact away from four damage with their Galvanic Blast. All right, so this one gets played down normally. Now this should be pretty okay going for the Armadillo Cloak, attacking for a bunch and starting that life gain journey. Uh, Theral Arm to follow next turn, but first and foremost, gain as much life as possible. Opponent has seen enough. And again, I think there was a little bit of tilt there from their end with uh, some of these concessions. 
All right, so that's uh, that's a wrap on this league, guys. Uh, it was a pretty interesting one. We saw a bit of high variance um, on the low side for our deck in the first two matches. Um, managed to recover quite well and win the final three games of matches, pardon me, um, to end the league on a positive note. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy with the list. I like the list. Uh, the only real tweaking is maybe in the sideboard. You want to muck around with some of these numbers. Uh, feel free to. I think everything's in there for its reason. And our deck is still going to have bad matchups no matter what you do. Um, I think Edict Protection is quite important at the moment, hence the Young Wolves and Cartouches. Uh, considerations with the main deck and thoughts going through my head. Uh, given the card disadvantage of Lotus Petal, it could be worth increasing Satessan training numbers. I think I've raised this issue or concern before. Um, so it's possible to like use Rancor to make way to do that. Rancor is currently at three copies. Rancor is fantastic because it's a little bit more aggressive, it's less mana intensive, and if it does end up in the graveyard from the battlefield, it returns to hand, which is pretty strong, no matter what format you're in. Um, but that would just be a way to circumvent the card disadvantage, as a thought. Um, additionally, now that we're back up at four cartouches, Maybe we want to look to include a second copies of Sentinel's Eyes and like the, the flex slot for auras at the moment are like Satessan Training, Rancor, and it's not an aura but Lotus Petal. These are like the, the flexes. I think everything else is important. I think I want Sentinel's Eyes at two copies. Um, it helps you out a little bit into burn as well, having that vigilance on your creature. Maybe even double a dipping with the life gain on Armadillo Cloak. Another consideration possibly could be going down to two copies of Ancestral Mask. I don't really want to do that. Um, this card's pretty damn powerful. Um, arguably the most powerful card in the deck. Uh, if you have like four auras on the battlefield, this is giving the most power and toughness by a long, long shot. So that's that's it for me, guys. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Let me know what you think about potential main deck changes or even sideboard changes in the comment section below. I want to see if anyone else has got a good idea uh, on how to tweak these numbers. People are going to give basically give me the permission to cut out Rancor almost entirely, maybe like a one-off copy or something. Um, let me know anyway. And until next time, have a wonderful day, guys. I will see you then.